What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to learn to draw shapes with Pygame and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to learn how to draw shapes in Pygame. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership to all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, moving right along in our Pi Game tutorial here. In this video, we're going to look at drawing shapes in more detail. And in the last video, we drew sort of a basic circle that we moved around with the mouse. But in this video, I want to expand that, tell you more about drawing circles as well as drawing lines and rectangles because it's super important, especially rectangles when you have like images. A lot of times you'll put them in a rectangle so that you can tell, you know, if something hits them or all kinds of stuff. So rectangles are pretty important, but all shapes are important. And we're going to dive into it in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Pygame series. So check it out if you haven't so far. All right, so I've got a file called shapes.py, and it's the same starter code we've been using in the last couple of videos. Now, I do want to make one quick change. Right up here, we kind of hard-coded in the dimensions of our screen, you know? And it's just kind of usually better practices, and you'll see why in this video turn these into variables. So I'm going to go window underscore width, and I'm set that equal to 800, which is just what we have here already. And then let's also go window underscore height, and also set that to 500. And the reason why I'm using capital letters here is because this is basically a constant. So it's usually capitalized, you don't have to do that. But you know, it's Python. So we do that. And then I'm just going to replace these window width and window height. And there we go. So let's come down here. Let's understand coordinates real quick. Coordinates, coordinates, there a dash in there? I don't know. So in Pygame, you know, you think of x, y coordinates on a graph, and you may understand that if you've taken any math classes. Pygame coordinates are slightly a little bit different. Basically, the top left corner of the screen is 0, 0, right? So then as we move to the right, X increases. And as you go down, Y increases. And this is a little weird. So let's go ahead and save this and just run it and see what we're talking about here. Head back over to our terminal. I'm in my C slash games directory, my virtual environments turned on and let's run Python shapes.py. And you see we have this box here. Let me pull this back up. So we can still see this down here. So the top left corner right here, that's zero zero. And as we go this way, X increases. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, et cetera. And as we move down, Y increases. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, whatever, right? A little different than you might expect coming from a math, you know, plotting X, Y axis coordinate point of view. But uh, that's how that goes. And that'll come in handy understanding that in this video. So, okay, we understand coordinates. Now, Let's start out by drawing a simple line. So let's draw a line. And to do that, we call pygame.draw.line. And this is a function. And with a line, the line function here that we've created, it expects certain things. It first, it needs to know where you want to draw it. So in our case, we want to draw it on the screen, right? So if you remember up here, we've defined our screen as, you know, being so big. So we're saying, hey, on this screen, draw a line. So it expects that. It expects a color. It expects a starting point. And this is in X, Y. So that's a tuple. And it expects an ending point, which is also X and Y. And then finally, it expects a thickness. Here, when we define this, like we said, we want to put it on screen. Here next, we need a color. So let's just say black and you can use color codes. You can use words. You can use RGB values, whatever you're comfortable with. You can do that. And then we need a starting point in X, Y. So let's say we want it at 0, 50. And remember, we said the top left corner, you can see up here, that's 0, 0. And so if 0, 50, 50 would be down 50, but it would still be on the 0 on the very edge here. So that's the starting point. And this needs to be in a tuple. So we'll put that in a tuple. There we go. And then we also need an ending point. So let's say 800 by 50. So if the top left corner is 0, 0, 800 would be 800 over. So that'd be all the way over and then down 50. So we have a dot here. 
You can see where my mouse is and another dot here. So it should be a straight line right across the top of our app, but just down 50 pixels, right? And then finally, we want a thickness and let's just say two. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. See what craziness we've created here. So we run this guy, Python shapes.py, and we get just what we expect, a line here at the top that starts at 050 and goes over 800 and down 50. And there we go. So you notice the thickness, that's two. We can really kind of play around with this and make it anything we want. So we could say, I don't know, 50 if you wanted, whatever you like. And when that happens, wow, that's almost like a rectangle, but it's still a line, uh, but very cool. So, okay, that's lines. And basically you just change the direction, you know, from horizontal to vertical just by changing these starting and ending points, right? So, okay, very cool. Next, let's draw a circle. And we kind of looked at this in the last couple of videos, but we didn't dive deep into it. And there's some things you need to learn. So when you draw a circle, it expects certain things just like a line. So first it expects the screen and then the color and then the center. So where's the center of your circle? And this is gonna be an X, Y coordinate then it expects a radius and then a thickness. And for thickness, zero is equals fill it all. So anything above zero, if you put it at zero, you're gonna get just a filled in circle. If you put it at one, it's not gonna be filled in. It's just gonna have a one pixel outline. If you put it at 10, it's gonna have a 10 pixel outline. And we'll look at this in just a second. So, okay, let's go ahead and pygame.draw.circle this guy. And we want this on our screen. We want the color to say, I don't know, let's just go black again. Next, we need a tuple where the center is. And we could do this anywhere we want. If we want it right in the middle of our app, we could grab this guy, right? Window width and window height. And we can say window width divided by two and window height divided by two. That would put it right in the middle of the screen. So I don't know, that looks good, we'll do that. And then we want a radius. How big do we want it? Let's just say 50. And then finally a thickness. If we put it at zero, it's just gonna be filled in. If we put it at something else, it will be something else. And we'll look at both of these here in just a second. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over to our terminal and run this guy. And you see what we'd expect right in the center, a filled in black circle that's yay big. And like I said, we can play around with this. So if we want this to be a hundred, it'll be bigger. If we put it at one, it won't be filled in anymore. It'll have a one pixel border, right? So you can see very skinny not filled in, but kind of cool. And again, we could play around with this any different way you want. If we put five here, save this and run it. Now we're gonna have a thicker circle. Very cool. And again, remember your coordinates. We put this right in the middle, but you could put this anywhere, right? So if we wanted to play around with this instead of this, let me copy this and get rid of it. Let's say we wanted it to go over 10, and down 300 or something like that. If we save that and ran it, you can see it's over 10, down 300, that's the radius, or that's the center, right? So that's gonna be off the screen because it's 100 size and we only put it over 10. So kind of keep that in mind, but you could put these anywhere, obviously, just by changing where the center is. So let me get rid of that, change it back to the way it was. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So that's circle. Finally, we have, let's draw a rectangle. And rectangle, square, same thing. A square has the same sides. A rectangle is the same thing. It's just the sides are different, right? Here, a rectangle is gonna expect certain things. Again, screen and color. And then this is a little weird. It expects a top left X and a top left Y, and then width and height. And these are all in a tuple. So four things here top left X and top left Y is basically a point, a single point where, where you start. It's basically the top left corner. Let's just build one of these real quick and see. So let's go pygame dot draw dot rect. And we call these rect, they're rectangles, but the slang is to call them rect and the function itself is in fact called rect. So we wanna put it on the screen and let's make this, I don't know, let's get crazy. Let's go red, All right? And now this is a tuple. And what do we want? Well, let's say we want down 100 over 400. And then we want a width of 100 and a height of 50. 
Or so it'll be 100 width and 50 height. So that'll be like, you know, a nice little rectangle. So, all right, let's go ahead and save this and take a look and see what we have here. Let me clear the screen. There we go. And when we do, we see over, what did we say? Over 100, down 400. So it's down here, 100 by 25. We could turn this into a square, like I said, just by calling, say, 100 by 100. Same deal. Run this. Now we have a square. And notice we're starting to hit the boundaries of our app just because of where the X, Y coordinate we started this thing at, right? So if we wanted to kind of fix that a little bit, we could say, oh, well, let's have it down 200 instead of 400 because after all, our app is only 500, right? So, all right, let's go ahead and save that and run it. And now it's right there. So very cool, very easy to make shapes. Really, the hardest part is wrapping your head around the coordinate system. Remember, top left is zero, zero. Just keep that in mind, top left, zero, zero. X is over this way. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800 is the edge of it because our app is 800 pixels in width. And then Y is starting at zero at the top, increasing as we go down. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 down here because the width of our app is only 500. So I know it's just really not intuitive to think it starts up here at zero, zero. You know, normally graphs start down here at zero, zero, and they go out like this when you're dealing with math. But with Pygame, for whatever reason, this starts at zero, zero. X is this way, Y is down. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.